Hi everybody! Uh, today I am going to be showing you a super easy way to make personalized cards for your bridal party. These make really cute cards um, to go either by themselves or with a bottle of wine or a gift box or whatever you have in mind um, for your bridesmaid proposal or asking your wedding party to be in your wedding. Um, anyways, I want to just say right up front before I get started, this is going to be so easy. So don't be intimidated by the DIY aspect of it. Um, it saves a ton of money and you don't need any special skills to do this. You don't need any software. You don't need any special fonts. You don't need anything but the template. And I leave a link below so that you can um, download the template if you want to use this template. If you have another template, that's fine. You can use that or you can use whatever you want. I'm just simply showing you how easy it is to make your own card as a bridesmaid proposal. And these are super cute. And um, the fact that you're able to put their name on the card makes it so much more personal and um, people really love these. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is pull up Pick Monkey. You see I already have it up here. And all you're going to do is go to the internet and go to www.pickmonkey.com and then you're going to click on edit because at this point you will have already downloaded the template and it will be saved on your computer somewhere. So you're going to hover over edit and a menu will pop up and you're going to click on computer. And then you're going to find the file, so I'll just pull up the bridesmaid one. When you download the template, it's going to come um, two to a sheet to make it, there's a few things. A, it's cheaper to print because you can print more than one per sheet. And you can also um, edit it really quickly. So um, it's comes on eight and a half by 11 inch size and all you do is print it out on white cardstock after you put the name on and that's it you just print it so you can see here it comes like this on an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet and it has two cards so what you what you get is these two templates side by side and all you have to do is add the name right here above the little flower image the will you be my bridesmaid is already in place as a graphic along with the flowers and when you download the templates, not only do you get the Will You Be My Bridesmaid, but you get the Will You Be My Matron of Honor, you get the Will You Be My Maid of Honor, and you get the Will You Be My Flower Girl. So you get the entire set when you download it, not just the bridesmaid. So I'm just showing you this as a sample for example purposes, and so you can see how it's done. But when you download the templates, you get everything. So here you have an 8.5 by 11 inch sheet, and you can see right up at the top, this little gray notch, that's your cutting line. So when you, you're done and you print this off, you're just going to cut it straight down the middle, starting on this notch here, all the way down the middle here. Use a paper cutter. I would recommend a paper cutter because it's easier, but if not, you can use scissors. And you just cut straight down, and then each card you just fold it in half, and it becomes a folded card, and it's blank inside. So you can write a special note if you want to or put a picture or whatever you want in there. So I'm just going to show you quickly how to edit these. You're going to go over here to the left side and you're going to click on this T icon for text. And what it's going to do is it's going to bring up um, a few things. It's going to bring up all of the fonts that you have available to use within PicMonkey. Um, most of them are free. Some of them are premium fonts, but really you don't. it's not necessary to be a premium member because they have so many cool ones for free. Or alternatively, if you have a font already downloaded on your computer that you want to use, a really cool font that you really like, you would click right here where it says yours and it will pull up all the fonts you already have downloaded on your computer so that you can use those. But just for the tutorial purpose, I'm going to use their version and I'm going to use all the free fonts so you can see how easy it is and it doesn't cost any money to do. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to use this pretty one right here. It's free. Parisian, I think it's pronounced. I'm probably saying it wrong, but this really pretty font here is free. And you're going to click on it and you're going to just click add text and it'll bring up a box for you to type a name into. And all you're going to do is type in the name of your bridesmaids or your wedding party and then you're going to save and you're going to print. So here's the text box. I'm going to drag it over here right above the floral image about here. And I'm going to double click inside and I'm just going to type the names of one of my 
prospective bridesmaid. So let's just say Lauren. And then I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to come over here to the right and I'm going to center it. And this button right here, you can slide it left or right to make your text bigger or smaller. So I'm going to make it bigger. I'm going to slide it to the right until it's about there. See, I like how that looks. So there you go. Lauren, will you be my bridesmaid? And then I'm going to simply click on that text and then I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose duplicate text. And I'm going to slide it over here on the second card about there. Okay. And that's it. You're done. Now you have two bridesmaids cards ready to go. Now they're both not going to be Lauren, obviously, but I'm just showing you what they look like side by side. This would be a different name or and if you have two Laurens, great, but you get the idea. Um, and then all you're going to do is you're going to save it to your computer, click export. It's going to bring up um, a place where you can name your file and then you're just going to save it right onto your computer desktop or whatever. Um, area you want to save it. So I'm just going to bridesmaid cards. I leave the quality right here. It's just fine the way it is. And I click export to computer and I put it on my desktop and that's it. You're done. It's ready to print. So now all you have to do is print it on white cardstock, which you can get at any craft store, Walmart, anywhere online. Or if you don't want to print it on at home, you can print it using a print vendor um, like Vistaprint. We also will leave a link below to the vendor that we like to use. Um, or you can use a local coffee shop like uh, FedEx, Kinko's, Office Max, those type of places. You can also print it there really easily. Again, you're just going to print on white cardstock. You're going to cut right here all the way down the middle. And then you're just going to fold each card in half and you'll end up with two cards blank on the inside. Or if you don't want a folded card that's blank on the inside, you can just cut it in half here and then you just can cut it across here and you can just have two little like postcards that you can include in an envelope or you can put it in a gift bag or however you want to do it. You can even print this on label paper and make them into stickers. It's awesome. And let me tell you, it took what a few minutes to do this. Very easy to do. Beginners can do it. Anybody can do it. You don't have to have special skills or software. You don't have to have Photoshop or anything like that. It's really easy to do. And you guys, it's really affordable. So um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below. If you want to use these templates, I will leave the link to the templates below. If you have um, anything that you want me to create, any ideas, something that you have in mind and you want to know how to do it, leave me a comment or a suggestion and I would love to make a tutorial for it. I am all about making tutorials for free and all about showing people how they can save money. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, like I said, leave me a comment below. Thanks everybody. Have a great day. Bye.